Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop, and today, take a look at some stuff here. I put some parts in here uh, two weeks ago, and I forgot about them. There's some of those 90-degree uh, blocks and uh, V-blocks we got from that uh, yard sale find a couple weeks ago, and I haven't looked at them yet. So we're going to take them out and clean them up real quick and see if there's any adverse uh, reactions or whatnot. I'm sitting in the evapo rust for that long. Take a quick peeky poo here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's really, really soft. I might come off really easily. It's pretty oily. Let's get these outside with a soft brush and the hose. And they will most likely be stained. If you use Evaporust a lot, you'll know if you leave stuff in there too long, sometimes it'll like a put like this like weird matte finish on it. So let's get outside and see what we got. Okay. My brush, got my hose going there on my outside drill press table. Okay, I had almost like a, almost like a moss on it, so it did clean off. Very smooth, sorry about the traffic, we're outside. So yeah, no kidding or anything like that. But it is, as you can see, quite, quite stained. That should not affect it. See what else we got in here. Now take these inside. We'll give them a final wipe down and we'll see what we're left with. We'll see there's like this. And to be fair. That evaporus has cleaned a lot of stuff. That tank is almost a year old. I just got myself wet. Oh, it's almost hot though. Okay. Okay, off camera, I'm going to clean up the rest of them, and we'll uh, take a look at it when we get back to the shop. Okay, so here's the results. They cleaned up fine. This was just really quick, hitting them with a really soft uh, scotch bright pad. Still need to do the back sides. Yeah, cleaned right up. No signs of pitting or anything. With these, I think these are gonna be really handy on the sh on the uh, mill. Yeah, this guy cleaned up good. 
Still got, you know, a little bit of work to do. And, of course, they need to be oiled. This pitting here, if you recall, these were really rusty when I got them. So that was not from the evaporust. They weren't in there, you know, that long. That stuff's not really caustic or anything. One thing I didn't get, like, shiny. Now, this is hardened. And I think it has some kind of... It's showing up brighter than it is on camera than reality. It's got, like, this, like, dull matte finish to it. There's a cat. So I don't know if this has some kind of a bluing or a finish on it. But it is smooth. Still need some cleanup work, of course. But yeah. Two weeks in the uh, soup. And no ill effects. Though it did make the evaporust smell really weird. It's probably just an, an old batch needs to be replaced. So yeah. A little tip for you in case you leave it in there too long. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.